Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tuner again. So today we are going to solve week two of technical support fundamentals, which is a course uh, of the Google IT support professional certificate. So in week two, they basically talked about the hardware of the computer. Okay, so the first question we are going to have is about modern computer. Okay, so what do you mean by modern computer? Okay, so the questions are all about them. The first question, where does the CPU store its computations? It computes, uh, it stores the computations in register. Okay, so next question, which mechanism do we use to transport binary data and memory addresses? Okay, so we add, we use address buses or then external data bus or EDB. Okay, so this two is your answer. Okay, so we are going to our next quiz. Basically, there is not that much quiz. Uh, there is only two or three quiz so far, I think. So this is our next quiz, uh, which is about components. So what is components? Okay, so first question, what characters distinguish a SSD from an HDD? Uh, first of all, they have a small power form factor and they're non-moving parts. This too is the answer. Uh, true or false, if you plug a 220 volt appliance into a 120 volt outlet, the appliance could get damaged. Yes, it get damaged. Okay. Uh, how long will it take to transfer a file of one gigabyte on a USB 2 and USB 3 drive? You can see USB type 2 is transfer rate of 480, or 480 megabyte, megabit per second and transfer speed 5 gig gigabit per second and 10 gigabit per second. Okay, so the answer will be 17 seconds. It will take 17 seconds to transfer 1 GB or 1 gigabyte of file via USB 2 and 2 seconds via USB 3. Okay, so next question. Uh, which of these devices used to charge? USB A, USB C. Display ports are not used to charge. Okay, so this two will not be the answer. So we are heading to our final assessment, basically. Uh, so there are some also questions about starting up. So we will go through this starting it up okay so what is the difference between a rom chip and a ram chip basically a rom chip stores permanent data whether a ram chip stores temporary data and then a rom chip is non-volatile and will keep the data in case of a future power failure but a ram chip is volatile and will wipe its data in case of a power and then second question which of this function does the bios perform actually a bios initializes the hardware and checks the devices are connected to the computer or not and this installs the that's not a function of bios okay uh, third question, where are the BIOS settings stored? In CMOS chip or CMOS battery, whatever you say. Uh, what is the difference between a traditional BIOS and UEFI? UEFI has better compatibility and newer hardware. And UF UEFI has become the updated or default BIOS on the new systems. And UEFI meant to be, become the new standard for BIOS. Yes, it is going to be. Okay, so our next and final, we need to assemble a computer. Okay, so there's a practical type question. So. We need to start assemble our computer. You can see, uh, I wish I can use it in a large screen. Uh oh, I think I prefer. Okay, so large screen is better. First of all, you need to know which part will belong to where in this CPU. Okay, so first of all, we need to put the CPU here. Okay, CPU uh, in the base, right? CPU will be in the base. Okay, so we placed our CPU. Then we need RAM. We already processed it and then hit sync and then where is thermal paste we need to pay, put some thermal paste and then where is the fan cpu fan yes cpu fan will be at the top of it okay so next where is our pcu power supply unit power supply unit will be there there or other way okay let me see our hard disk drive will be here and then SATA SATA cable also included case pen right yes so case pen will be here now check oh where is my CPU socket man thermal paste heatsink oh, oh we made a mistake and the mistake is very severe but mistake I have made there is the mistake that I have made so you shouldn't make this so I have placed heatsink just on the top of the CPU but that's not the correct we need to put thermal paste on CPU then heatsink up on the thermal paste and then CPU fan okay so if you check right now okay so finished what did you say you scored 100% okay so I have already finished so I already have 100% so you should also try to get 100% like that and till then stay home stay safe and don't forget to subscribe okay and bye bye